Take it out. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it.
So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not... come to that. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe... Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... <sighs> I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. 
I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just... Leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Anyway, yeah, Brian Goodwin. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Hey, who are these guys Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. 
I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. Everything's fine. Just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. All right. Well, we can just leave it at that. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. Okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. A campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. down in that canyon again. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks. That helps.
Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. Well, you did. You can't just do that, you know? I know. I know. I, I, I don't know anything about you or your life. So, tell me about her, if you want. She's actually very sick. I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby.
I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone Magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers, they could be having a bad mushroom trip, we really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. <laughs>